Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Let's Talk video. Now, before we jump to the topic, I want to say a big thank you to all of you for helping me moving my first stone. What I mean by that is thank you for reaching the 1,000 subscribers. I never saw this coming. As I mentioned in the previous or previous previous video, I never saw this coming at all. It's just I, mean, I was used to being a small. Well, I'm still a small <laughs> YouTuber. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is big thank you to all of you. Thank you for all the comments. Most of the, some, some of the comments have actually brought me up doing some extra videos that I would never do unless if you want to mention it, right? Actually, uh, one of the topics that I'm going to cover, actually two of them, I believe. Uh, also, some of you guys brought, like helped me to combine it. Uh, with the video that I actually wanted to do before the Easter thing happened because I never saw it coming so basically uh, thank you thank you I don't know what to say no more Z Clan I love you <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the topics. So basically, I had this video in mind uh, when, you know, uh, you're using the workbenches to mod your weapons and the way you get mods is by scrapping weapons or armor and you discover mods, right? So when we discover mods, we see the mods in the mod menu. But it will be really cool if, the Beth if Bethesda would develop a feature or a tool, call it what you want to call it, uh, for players to have the ability to view what mods they still need to research, right? So you know uh, how many more weapons approximately you need to craft and then scrap to get those mods, you know, or find weapons, scrap them to get the mods or, or armor, that is, right? So, uh... It'll be really cool. Uh, the other section that should be added is uh, installable mods, because there are some mods that you cannot get through uh, scrapping weapons. Uh, there are some mods that you need to buy from vendors or find out there in Fallout 76 World, right? And only if you have the actual item, that installable mod I call them, <laughs> uh, you can install it to your weapon or armor, right? So, uh, the second topic is actually combined and brought to uh, to me uh, by one of the recent subscribers, Z-Clan member, uh, Todd Evans. Uh, there are some mod issues when you're using your workbench, armor bench, or other. I actually made a few tests and uh, I think I found some more <laughs> bugs. So, after this, by the way, I'm going to be submitting a ticket uh, to Bethesda support team. If you guys know of any other... Uh, bugs you might want to also submit that ticket because the more tickets we submit to Bethesda team the more chances there is to fix that thing because if everybody gonna be silent ain't nothing gonna happen <laughs> unless if they have better testers who are testing the game on a daily basis which uh, I don't know if they have it or not <laughs> Uh, then we're going to discuss the new feature that was given to us and causes bugs. <laughs> it's uh, whenever you rename your item, uh, it can be a weapon, <laughs> it can be an armor. And if you like open your Pip-Boy, uh, you will see that on the left side, uh, the statistics of the gun disappears. So basically you have a, a square, that's it, no information there. I've noticed that bug when uh, I was trying to uh, trade a weapon on uh, Market76, right, on Discord or Reddit. So I found this weapon and I renamed uh, my weapon because that was like the day when that feature came out, right? And I'm like making a screenshot and then I'm noticing, hey, hold on a second. Where's the level of the weapon? Where is what uh, ammo type that weapon uses? Where are, whoa, what's going on? And anyway, this is the third topic, and I'm going to show it to you, alright? And then, also, one more topic that I would like to uh, sort of also explain is how to submit the ticket to support. Uh, I'll give you the link, and I'll walk you through on how I did it, and how you can do it, right? To help you out a little bit, to navigate through that section, because you might get lost, because I got lost multiple times. And... Actually, when I was preparing the bug submission ticket, it turns out that you have to use the feeds and not the technical support thing. So, or as John commented today, uh, tweet them. 
<laughs> Alright, so let's not waste any more time and jump to the first topic. Alright, so let's talk about the first topic. And the first topic is the... It will be really nice to have a cool feature to see what mods you need to uh, research and what mods you can install, right? So bring up as an example is my favorite gun that I use is a handmade rifle, right? I scrapped a whole bunch of them. And uh, these are... Oh, hold on. My bad. Wrong, uh, wrong item. So here's the two-shot automatic rifle, right? And uh, as we can see over here, we got the mod section, right? These are all the mods that you can pretty much use. So once you navigate here, you have the full list, right? So the only problem is, I think I already got them all uh, because I scrapped a whole bunch of them, right? Uh, but I don't know if I got them all because there's no information. Hey, man, uh, you can actually get uh, three more mods in the in this mod section, like, right? I hope you. you, know, you understand what I mean but I'm gonna show you as an example we'll craft a few weapons and scrap them to see the modifications right so uh, the idea is uh, for example like standard color Whoa. what's up with this okay <laughs> so like for example available mods like they could make a little icon over here you can still find and research like I don't know another five mods and that's it and then you will have all mod possible mods researched unless if they make an update and give some more modifications for a specific type of weapon right uh, then it will be really nice to have like a square over here indicating us okay man look you can actually install um, a mod that will give you some like a mod that you cannot research right so for example with this pistol right uh, if we go standard receiver uh, we have the Scorch Killer's Receiver, uh, which is a modification that you can only buy from a vendor and only then install the mod, right? I'll get to this part in a second and we'll try to reproduce a bug that I've <laughs> found. As you can see, I already have the Scorch Killer Pistol. Alright, so uh, let's craft a few weapons just in case if you didn't know that you can actually do this. I made a guide video about it, uh, so... I'm not sure if you have already covered it and watched it. Let's take, for example, the um, the railway rifle. Oh man, I can craft only one. Damn it! I don't have steel. Can you believe it? Okay, let's do this one. Th oh wait, I already have unlocked a lot of mods for this one. Crap. Okay. All right, let's do. Oh come on, man. Fine, let's do this one, and pray that we're gonna get a mod. So pretty much the idea is you craft a lot of these weapons, right? And then you fr pretty much just scrap them. So, oh, there we go. We got three rifles because I had the super duper turned on, luckily for me. So, bam, bam, bam. Hey, hey, and we just uh, unlocked the caliber receiver. So the more weapons you craft, the more mods you can unlock, right? Simple. So. I hope you enjoyed the first topic, <laughs> and I hope that topic made sense, because, I don't know, it's uh, almost midnight my time, and I didn't really want to delay this video any longer, so I just didn't decide, you know what, it's Friday, let's do it. For me, it's Monday. Thank God it's Monday. Every, every day is Monday. <laughs> Alright, second topic, uh, workbench mod issues check this out and by the way this is what I know of because in reality I never I don't use uh, vendor bot mods to mod my weapons armor and since I don't use power armor I don't even know and I can't even test it because I don't have any power armor so the resources and materials to craft them so if you're experiencing those issues your power armor mods cannot be installed in your power armor I recommend you to ASAP submit a ticket the more people submit tickets on a specific problem I think will bring to but does this attention hey hey we gotta we gotta start coding we're working you know <laughs> alright so let's get to the fun part so I actually remembered about this modification I just spoke about it uh, a few minutes ago so the thing is what happened here it was the weirdest thing ever <laughs> uh, yeah so let's take this 10 millimeter pistol I bought uh, the mod again watch this so here's our mod and as you can see I don't even have enough materials to make this mod the same thing 
uh, happened to me when I made the other pistol. So if we, bam, are you sure you want to get that mod? It will destroy blah, blah, blah. Yes, sure, please. <laughs> there you go. I installed the mod and, oh man, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> if, uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, let's do it like that. Bam. Oh no, it's already installed. You like materials. Oh wow, this time is actually not working. Oh wait, it's not working because I don't have the mod thing. Crap, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, you know what? Let, let's get that mod again. Alright, so I got the mod again. Uh, in, in case if you're wondering, where is the Charleston Fire Department? <laughs> so they have a, actually the uh, weapons bench here, so we'll just use this one right here. So once again, Let's see if, because I didn't pay attention again, if it actually drains. Look, it's still available. Check this out. Let's see. Uh, we got 10 gold and 8, 9 gold. Bam. So you pretty much you don't even spend resources to upgrade your 10 millimeter. <laughs> All right. I got the exactly the same mod for the short hunting rifle. Let's see what happens in this case. If the problem is actually with the actual mod setup or I, I don't know <laughs> I, I don't know how to address to this case properly but let's do it uh it didn't work <laughs> it didn't work all right and now there's another issue so I got the walking cane and I got the mod for uh, here let me show it to you first before uh, so mods, 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 mods. Here we go. So we can't, we couldn't implement this one. So here's the uh, barbed walking cane mod, right? So I believe this is the common fa uh, issue that is happening with power armors, because uh, I I know because someone on the stream was talking about, but I was I could not understand what he means, and only till this point now I understand what he means because I'm doing it right now <laughs> so let's go and uh, no upgrade here's the mod bam and we have the resources needed but it's just simply not working <laughs> I've restarted my game a dozens of time uh, sometimes I even crashed actually a lot of times and about crashing we're gonna get in the third topic <laughs> so guys if you're having issues with this sort of um, case I would a hundred percent please do send and submit the ticket to support team uh, saying hey get hey what up Bethesda today I found that this mod were on this item is not working or just you need to provide as many details as possible when you submit a ticket so support team can like uh, get it to attention and not shoot you back an email can you tell us where this happened or what item it was what platform it was and so on so the more information you provide within the first ticket the better so uh, we'll get to that to topic number four all right so renaming your weapons Right, so if we uh, go to our weapons, I hope I'm not bugged right now. <laughs> and uh, for example, we want to ah, there we go. We're I'm already bugged. So in order for me to fix this problem, I need to sort of uh, <laughs> restart the game. That's the only problem. I mean, I can try to like put it out and out and out sometimes this helps sometimes it doesn't sometimes it crashes the game hey what up <laughs> thank god I did not crash <laughs> before I started uh, making this video oh come on man oh there we go we're back online thank you uh, uh, you saw that the arrow got stuck it's a like, oh, Shazam so here we go stats and stuff right so the first time I noticed this I believe it was the very first day when they brought this thing to us and I wanted to rename my AK so bad uh, and then I looted a three-star weapon uh, and I wanted to send it to because uh, it happened on the weekends I believe and I wanted to send it to the market 70 76 where you sell weapons or buy stuff right on discord and I make the screenshot I drop it there is like the guys asking what level or what level is the weapon I'm like 
what do you mean? It's on the screenshot. I look at the screenshot, it's, this information is just poof, gone. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to redo the thing. So watch this. So you can rename your weapons just by uh, through your Pip Boy. That's the number one option, right? So you click on my well on PC. You click X, spectate. Oh, wow! So it happens not only when you uh, rename items. Oof! Please fix. <laughs> so then you rename your item. I usually put number one sign and uh, I don't know. Let's name it my baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, so next time you know uh, the most usable guns and you want to like auto switch real quickly if you're using a lot of guns your top favorite gun you can prioritize them right so you'll have all your guns prioritized so right now my gun is over here <laughs> uh, same thing I did for my PVE set so this is my current PVE set it's uh, the old um, give plus three to all stats if your health is low but I still need to buy correct ones for PvE and PvP yes. I'm still working my PvP build so I don't know my, my head is exploding with all these builds that I'm just in my head and I'm trying to make at least one and I can't because I start doing one thing and then the next day I want to do another thing and I'm already freaking level 200 and something 50 I think 257 oh my god <laughs> all right <laughs> The next option how you can uh, rename your weapon or armor, by the way, is by accessing the workbench. So once again, you have, oh wow, usually this thing is bugged when you rename. But never the, uh, nevertheless, once to fix the weapon, you need to uh, insert, repair, right? So for me, it's T. Bam. Oh, there we go. Thank you. No stats. So let's rename the baby. Click V. Rename the baby. Uh, baby. No, no, no. Uh, my baby. Stop. Bam, bam. Exit. Let's see if the bug is still there. Oh, wow. We got fixed. Usually it's blank. <laughs> I don't know. This game is weird sometimes. And let's jump to the fourth topic and the final one for this video. Alright, sorry, uh, my hotkey is F1, so <laughs> I had to um, sort of, you know, close it. Uh, by the way, there's just a comment uh, popped up 23 minutes ago by Robert. He has, uh, he says that the third egg never showed up for him, so I asked him if he's PS4. And uh, Bouncer Wolf today actually explained that he had almost similar situation, so I just kind of decided to uh, copy paste that message. To, hopefully, that will help him. Anyway. Uh, let's get back to the Bethesda support team. I will have this link in the video description and uh, if you navigate over here, the first step what you will need to do while you're on the first step is to select follow 76 as the product, right? Then the category it would be the feedback. Uh, the very first time I used it, I had to use the building and purchase because I accidentally bought the power armor skin, which I don't really need because I don't use it. I just clicked once and there was no notification. I accidentally and accidentally ended up wasting a thousand four hundred atoms on a skin that we'll never use. Uh, luckily for me, Bethesda reacted pretty quickly within 24 hours. Not only did they return my uh, atoms, they actually told me to uh, keep the skin on the house. If you want, it. actually, you know what? I will drop that copy of the email right on top of my head. All right, uh, so let's go back to. We're, we're we're going to sorry uh, almost midnight <laughs> almost midnight damn so we need to go to feedback section then we need to select the sub category so over here uh, you pretty much so select where is the issue that you're experiencing happening so actually you know Robert Robert uh, who is having the issue could have uh, selected uh, atomic shop and then submit the ticket because uh, that is actually a really bad uh, bug if uh, PS4 players can't see limited time to buy items because they need to restart the entire uh, platform I don't know guys how PS4 or Xbox use because I'm a PC guy as I mentioned before last time I touched the console was PS2 15 years ago when I was back in high school <laughs> plus 15 years ago <laughs> alright so in our case we will select uh, workshop camp because that's where most of actually all of the bugs that uh, pretty much happened to us during this video happen so we're gonna select that 
So then you'll need to fill out the following information. By the way, by the way, you can also tweet that. Don't forget. <laughs> so what were you doing? What did you expect to happen? What actually happened? And what else do you know? So this they kind of sort of give you a tip and please provide us info. Please provide us info. So I made a little uh, sort of template. <laughs> Bug list. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to submit this as soon as I upload the video because I need to include the link to the video that I'm filming right now. <laughs> so uh, then afterwards you can see that I'm explaining over here uh, the bug. Actually I'll need to edit this one because we found out that this is multiple. Uh, yeah, I I'm going to do the editing a little bit later. So then, uh, in my case, uh, I'll need to select Windows because PC, Windows, you know, if you're PS4, PS4, Xbox, Xbox, right? And uh, Impact uh, crashes. You know, it it would be really nice if they could uh, allow us to have a multi-selection here because uh, what I explained here can lead not only to. Uh, actually, there is one button that I prefer the most: the <laughs> pleasant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and the well attach screenshots etc in my case I've I'm using this uh, tool it's called Joxy J O X I and uh, it sort of allows me to make screenshots like this right so then I can also use like uh, edits you know directly state my issues etc test right uh, click OK get the link and voila I just shared this link and my screenshot is available right well of course no one can live without ads these these days so ads all over the place <laughs> <coughs> sorry about that so and final step is BAM support waiting waiting oh no wait I'm an idiot Oh, uh, I forgot to edit this stuff and the uh, damn video link. Uh. Right. <laughs> I guess they will be counting me back. <laughs> I hope. Well, this is how you submit a ticket. <laughs> I actually wanted to do it another way, but okay, fine. At least I still have there some info that they will find things off. And I don't believe I play screenshots. Damn it. Alright, I'm not gonna spam them with support tickets. Okay, what happened? That happened. Well, guys, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to leave those thumbs up. Comment down below issues, bugs, and other ideas what you've encountered. Uh, also, if you could provide some feedback about my channel, what you like, what you dislike, what can be improved, etc. That really helps uh, the channel grow. Also, if you want to take participation in the channel growth, you can also uh, share some with the media, <laughs> Facebook or Twitter, whichever comes. And if you have subscribed, welcome to Z Clan. Hey, I'm Gamer Z Salt. <laughs> By the way, we also have a Discord that you might want to join. Uh, we have some Fallout 76 chats over there. Also, you can share your pictures, your videos, or videos of other YouTubers. That channel is totally open. So, guys, thank you for watching. You have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys talking at, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.